hello guys if you own a ryzen apu or a ryzen laptop basically a ryzen laptop you pretty much seen that your cpu doesn't boost up as it's written on their spec sheet or like amd website so you can feel the pain and you are thinking why it doesn't boost that much because the tdp is very low in the ryzen apus in laptops so basically i just I'm going to show you some TDP tweaks with a simple software through which uh, your Ryzen APU can boost up to the full level. Let me show you. I am I have got Ryzen 5 2500Q 2018 model. It's pretty old model. You can see it's like little. It's still under 2 GHz. If I stress it it's like three it's winter here it's basically it's winter so it's boosting up to three three gigahertz sorry in summers it's like 2.9 2.8 max to max due to like this temperature you can see 53 degrees currently so how you gonna like tweak your tdps and get full performance out of your apu in a laptop so this is an application called amt utility tuning let me show you this app like this open as an administrator it's a simple app and like this is the app here are presets you can find all your presets of your uh, APUs in which are used in laptops from like first gen to like latest current gen I got like 2500U and like it's their presets they recommend like you don't go above this it's like my max tdp 25 watt and my current default tdp is like 15 watts you can see and if i apply this my current will be up 25 watts you i recommend to use their presets because as you can see i'll show you on their website It's a mobile processor. Like, see, this it's boost up to 3.6, but mine, like, max to max goes up to 3. And, like, full potential, uh, full TDP, 12 to 25 watts. You can tweak between this, but you can tweak about 25 watts, no problem. But maybe your silicon will destroy in some years. If you want to use it for a long period, don't go above 25 watts and default is 15 as you can see mine is also 15 and everything you can see here like it goes etc like I have set it to 25 watts you have you seen I have applied settings okay like current like 3.2 not major difference 3.3 3.2 a lot of a big difference you can see so what shall we do to get you a difference? So you can try out like some more TDPs, higher TDPs. You can use custom here, but I don't recommend unless you are a very geek. Use presets. Like I will go like 3500U. It's like 30. It's applied. Now you can see it's going 3.9, 3.16. I'll use this. I'll always 30. I always use the 3500 UTDP because it's okay, and I know I my laptop can handle this. I have sufficient cooling for it. It's never gonna happen that this laptop, my laptop, will go up to 3.6. Like they have said, its max is 3.6. No, it's. I don't think so. It's never gonna happen. It's unlocked also. Like you can tweak. You can do overclocking. Obviously, every CPU is overclockable what if i go like 4500u not no 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 sorry like it's like 50 watt long boost 70 watt tdp and like normal 50 watts if i apply let me show you the huge performance gap it's like 3.58 
but but three it's three point five eight. It is it remains constant, but you are you are damaging your silicon. Be aware of that. So this is the guide. This is it. I'll post the link in description for this AMD utility. And we have a Discord group also. You can join for like different mods and different clocking and stuff. All AMD APU stuff in there. There are three different applications. One of these in AMD APU tuning utility, and other two are also like Ryzen Master and AMD U Master, something like that. So I'll post the links in my description for Discord and like this AMD utility. Thanks, guys.